You're in for a real treat today. Part two is about expanding on part one's AI text to images, where we're gonna now ultimately add animation and motion to our base images. Uh, we're gonna get you going with some basic and simple uh, tools out there to the more advanced, more enthusiast tools. Um, if you like, subscribe, give it a go. And um, if you want some more information on how to install the, uh, the more advanced tools, leave a comment and I'm happy to create a video on that. Let's go. All right, so the first tool up is Animated Drawings by Meta. So this is probably the simplest version of making your images move. So if you haven't already, sign up to Animated Drawings, click on Get Started, and uh, really simple, straightforward stuff. Upload a drawing, so click on your photo, myself by my son actually uh, so that's what I look like apparently it's gonna scan me and um, just agree to the terms and conditions um, set the um, uh, parameter for where the character actually is in the image this is just a photo that I took of a page click on next all right, so it's pretty done, pretty much done a um, outline of what my character looks like. You can go in and edit um, and remove elements, uh, but let's just click on next. It'll then ask you to map out where the shoulders, the hands, um, and various pivot points are. Um, so we can just make that over there. Let's move the ears over there, and the eyes are pretty much like that. And hit next. And what it'll do now is it'll render it and create some um, um, some images for you. All right, so as you can see here, pretty simple. Um, yep, yeah. and there's your first uh, AI image movement tool. Hopefully that was uh, pretty sim simple and painless. And if you want to download it, you click on the share button and uh, off you go. Right, the second tool up uh, also using your uh, created images is Layer Picks. And uh, again, really simple interface. You get a number of free credits. Um, and what you do is you click on the up, right, choose your image and let it upload into the platform. All right, and as you can see over here, it's now created some motion and movement. Um, you can do a depth map, you can do an animation style, circle, vertical. Um, you can make the animation length short or long and the amount of motion. So again, a really easy, really simple way to add depth and movement to your particular image. So once your image, once you're happy with your type of image and the movement that you see, you can then click on the export button. And if you want to make it an MP4, it's going to take 20 credits. And you can ultimately um, uh, choose whichever option you would like over here. Next tool up is Instaverse, which uh, follows on directly from Layer, where you export a depth map. Um, so what you can do is click on the 2D to 3D mode. Um, I know that the developers of this are trying to get some more people to support them. So if you can, um, give them a like, give them some money, and um, hopefully keep this awesome software going. All right, so really simple. Once you've got your depth map, you click on image. Once you've created the image, um, It'll then basically uh, do this um, sort of style. So again, creating a, a nice 3D world for you to sort of move around in. Um, yeah. Right, the next tool up is Pika Labs. So a great tool to create text to images or to just animate anything that you've already got. So um, really simple, um, sign up to the Discord space and you will get a button called, um, a server called Pika Labs, all right? So you click on it and um, you can start creating some prompts. So I've just created a prompt here called a caveman walking out of a cave. And as you can see, it's um, pretty much hitting the brief. So a caveman walking through a cave. All right, so the way you do it is really simple. So you go forward slash create, and let's just go volcano erupting. And um, what we can do is we can add in a camera, uh, zoom in, and then you hit the enter button. 
All right, so what you can see now is the camera um, is zooming in a little bit and uh, there's a volcano erupting. So all pretty fantastic, a bit of imagery and a bit of mastery going on over there. To download, you click on the download button and it'll ultimately save it for you. All right, so the other thing I wanted to show you in Pika was the animate feature. So if you go up to announcements, you'll see any um, updates to the software and what they've been building out. So keep an eye on this. Um, so what we can do is just quickly go to the generate page and what we want to do is animate something. So let's just choose a server and really easy. So forward slash animate it will immediately ask you for a file. All right. So once you've selected your image that you would like, um, yep, yeah, you just click on the enter key and what it'll do now is it'll um, animate it. All right, so once you've um, waited a few seconds for the image, you'll basically see it um, in the Discord server. All right, so once you've got your base image, um, you can obviously upload it in. And this is what Pika Labs is really, really good at, is ultimately taking your base image and not changing it up too much, but creating the motion and effects to it. So as you can see here, looking pretty fantastic. Right, the next tool up is Remix, and um, it's basically a good tool to create patterns and to create audio with that particular pattern. Um, so add it to your Discord server, and then go into Discord. It'll automatically create a server for you. You can have a look at the tutorials and any announcements. Okay, so what I've done is I've um, added it to my server and level up plus, and I put it in a command called Volcano Erupting, all right? press play and you can see it happening over there um, yes some water droplets in a pool all right so again all pretty good and you can hear the voice uh, or the audio coming through really simple to use so you type in forward slash imagine and uh, you would choose which server or bot you want to use. So don't use Midjourney, use the Remix, and you ultimately type in what you want to type, what you want. Uh, water drops in a pool, and you hit the Enter key. So super simple, super easy to use, and uh, quite promising from what um, from what I've seen so far. Right, the next tool up is Genmo, and a um, really promising tool that can create images, videos, 3D models, um, using chat uh, GPT type of sort of commands. Um, really promising, really powerful. So if you haven't already, sign up um, and log in and uh, click on the chat button over there. So that's the chat button. It'll bring you to Genmo chat. So what we want to do today is just do a uh, animation of an existing picture. Um, but what you can also do is create new images, generate videos or edit existing uh, pictures and change them up. Um, so let's just try the um, click on the image icon at the bottom over there. OK, so once the image has been uploaded, it'll obviously describe it um, and it will ultimately tell you what they can see in this particular picture. So it's found an image of a woman holding a ball. I can generate a new image. Uh, edit the existing image or animate it or make a 3D model. So let's do a animation, animate it. Okay, so once you've uh, clicked on um, animate and press enter, it's ultimately going to describe what it's doing and it's going to create a command that it's going to pass to the engine. Um, so it's going to tell you what it's going to do and uh, you can now modify this uh, video in any other way. But as you can see over here, there's a woman holding a ball, and as you can see, the crystal ball is now moving. Um, and all pretty good, pretty subtle, and um, I think that's quite um, quite fantastic, actually. So we can give it a thumbs up or rate it, and um, I think we can rate that as a, as a good sort of um, uh, animation. All right, the next tool up is uh, Gen2 by Runway. Um, pretty popular out there. It's uh, may, had some massive upgrades and features and functions recently. Um, so if you haven't already, sign up to Runway. So this is the uh, interface that you've got. And uh, you can start having a look at all the information that's available over here. So you get three projects that you can create. Um, so we can go start with an image or start with text. Um, so let's... Um, Let's create something from a existing image and um, let's use the volcano scene again. So let's upload my volcano. 
Okay, so once the image has been uploaded, you'll be able to see some options and settings that are available to you. So if you click over here, uh, you have an option for the motion. So you can do a motion slider, 675. Um, it's the more intense of the motion. So let's just keep it at about a five. So center it. Um, there's some camera controls that you can try. Um, there's some seeding that you are, that you're able to try. And if you click on the duration, it's currently four seconds of video. Um, all right, so if you want to click on, see what it will look like, uh, use your image directly and hit the generate button. So what it'll do now is it'll obviously grab a couple of credits and see, um, and pass it to the engine and start rendering it. Okay, so what you can see here is the uh, animation of this particular volcano and it looks pretty fantastic. Uh, four seconds, bit of a camera flare. As the heat gets hotter, the camera starts getting a bit dimmer. Uh, so again, pretty awesome. And uh, you can just click on the download button uh, to download that to your um, environment. Um, so really cool tool, really cool to play with. Um, there's ultimately a number of other settings and another options that you can try, um, but give it a go. All right, so the ultimate in control here is the forum and um, the engine underlying it is stable diffusion. So there's obviously um, a little bit of setup here and um, a little bit more knowledge around Google and Colab and um, how to set up um, these items. So it's beyond the scope of this video, but I'll have all the links in the um, in the description. So the first things first, let's just go into the forum's um, homepage, it's deforum.github.io and join the Discord server because that's actually a great place to sort of see how to use the tools and what sort of items are available. All right, um, so first things first, official links for the forum is available here. So as you can see, deforum.io and um, all the tools and all the extensions and all these kinds of things. All right, so there's two ways of installing it. One can be through the Google Colab or one can be on your local install. Um, the local install obviously requires a really powerful PC with a seriously strong GPU. Uh, so most people opt for the Colab version and that basically takes you to an interface. Um, the other option is to get the full automatic 11.11, um, 11, um, which is also in a link that I've shared, and that comes with the web UI, which is a lot easier to use. Um, so I'll just quickly show you both of them, just so you can see what it looks like, and you can choose which one uh, suits your needs. All right, so I want to give you a quick taste of what's um, possible with the forum. Um, so what you can do is go to ArtShare, and um, choose animation and um, start having a look at the different types of images that have been created with the animation. Um, so a lot of the videos in the beginning of this were credit to these awesome authors and artists, so I'm not claiming any work was uh, mine. Um, <clears throat> but as you can see here, there's um, a number of some really great sort of ideas and what you can do with it. I mean, this is a pretty cool deforum one. So let's have a look at this, creating a pretty cool image with deforum actually coming up in the middle over there. All right, so that's pretty awesome. Um, and again, these are obviously artists and um, extremely skilled people are doing this. Um, so yeah, you can start having a look around and just start um, getting some inspiration and some ideas. And a lot of these guys actually um, provide a bit of information of how they did it and what they did as well. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, so dinosaurs and yeah, just fantastic. All right, so these are the options that are um, available to you if you're willing to invest the time and the energy and the effort into actually um, learning stable diffusion as well as um, the deforum uh, software. All right, so this is the second interface. It's the Stable Diffusion 1.5 Web UI, which offers you um, a lot more sort of um, uh, options and flexibility. This is the automatic 11.11. And um, as you can see, it's using Stable Diffusion. And uh, here's the button or the link for the forum. All right, so it's a lot easier to sort of understand and use. 
all right so all you do is you go into the prompts and um, you can type in whatever you'd like to put in the prompts over here and you hit generate and um, so you can obviously now start putting in um, things around the hybrid video control net um, and again start really getting some awesome sort of um, uh, tweaking and commands and extra control over what you would like to do all right so it's out of the scope of this video to do this but um just very quick uh, demo and uh, if you hit the generate it's going to create a little short video all right let's show the video all right so as you can see it's uh created an eight second video and there's our bunny transforming into a cat into a coconut into a durian so as you can see pretty easy pretty short work of it um a lot uh a lot of power and flexibility is available to you in this particular software. So if you want to know how to use this in a bit more detail, leave a comment and um, I'm going to create a cool tutorial. Thanks. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe and